Five years ago, I never believed I'd be riding around the world on a motorcycle, not to mention picking up a furry little pillion, but that has since become a reality. Good morning. So Aru and I have been in uh, Cerro Castillo for the last few days. The last three days have been really windy. Wind gusts, like I said, I think up to 77 kilometers. One day, 84 kilometer wind gusts. So today we finally have what appears to be a perfect day. Absolutely no wind right now. Nice and sunny. Hopefully we won't run into any uh, rain today. <laughs> so I'm gonna get the bike turned around, packed up, and we're gonna hit the road to Rio Tranquilo. Let's go. Hola, como esta? Yeah. This is your dog. This is my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Where okay. are you from? Canada. Wow. Yeah. And from, you tell me that you are in your bike from Canada? Yes. To here. To here. Oh, oh yeah. How many, when did you start? Ah, Four years ago. No. Yeah. I sold everything I own. I only own this yeah. motorbike and this dog. Good for you. <laughs> wow. Hola. Hola. Wow. Eh, 95 y Jenna, por favor. 95. Sí. No. Pero cuando estoy en mi moto con su es ya yeah, no bueno. <laughs> Aquí, todo bien. So where are you going? Uh, Ushuaia. We're not buying a house. Today, Rio Tranquilo. We're learning how to okay. drive them. Yeah. But, but you took four years to arrive up to here? Yes, because one year was COVID. Ah, and you were where? Colombia. That's where she's from. Ah. <laughs> She's from Colombia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On there, girl. Just hang on.
again. I know. Sí, mi gasolina. No sé por qué. No, aquí. Gracias. Bueno, lo necesito. Si funciona. Sí, esta gasolina porque es muy, muy llena. Sí. No le pasó nada. Sí. Todo bien. Todo bien. <risa> gracias, muchas gracias. Hey, todo bien. Bien, bien. Hey, bien, bien, bien. <risa> bueno, está así hasta la oveja. Son como 20 kilómetros que está así. 20 más kilómetros. Sí, así. Oh. Recién pasamos. No, para mí, um, ripio, malo. Con mi perro, porque ella. <risa> Gracias. No, no. Wow. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay, Ru, come on, up. So there's, I don't know, the sign said 17 kilometers of gravel and it turns out there's 37. I've dumped the bike already, as you've probably seen in the video. And the dust is unbelievable, the wind's picking up. And it's just, yeah. This makes me realize why I'm not taking Route 40 in that deep, deep gravel. <laughs> I don't like this. I can't even look around and look at stuff because I'm so busy trying to find a tire track. I don't know.
amazing bridge. Well, we didn't find it. It was along the route and it's absolutely gorgeous. Those colors. <laughs> and the wild lupins. Beautiful. And we're just having a little break. She was a trooper. Hey, that was nasty, eh, Rue? <laughs> I think the worst of the gravel is behind us. It's more hard packed now with just loose gravel on it, but that was really dusty. Everything, we're just coated in dust. So, <laughs> well, I think we're about 45 minutes away from where we're supposed to be in Rio, Tranquilo. So we've had a good break. Rue is all tucked in again. Ready for the last 45 minutes or so. Yeah, I hope we get there soon. And I hope the road doesn't get any worse. Gracias, okay. Si? Sí? Okay. Super. Super bien. Privado también. Privado. Ok. No. Super. Ya, yeah, estoy muy cansada. Cansada, cansada, cansada. Cansa. Sí. Y de compañera. Hoy. Y de compañera. Ya, ella también. And we made it. I gotta get Rue off the bike. Poor babies. So I'm still unpacking, but I just checked the time out and I told him I'd be here between one and two and it's 20 after three, which means Rue and I took four hours and 45 minutes um, to do 90 kilometers of off-road. And when I say off-road, I mean like, there was a lot of deep gravel that I did not expect, which is where I dumped the bike. Um, totally pothole, washboard road, 
um, traffic, dust, it was just crazy. I, we did it all in first and second gear. A few times I got up to third, but the important thing is, is that we're here. Yeah. Hey there, thanks for watching another one of my videos. So yes, we made it safely to Puerto Tranquilo. Uh, I didn't want to do the Carretera Austral after that road. I was giving up on it. So I put a few questions out to some different Facebook groups and I've been assured that that is the worst section of the entire Carretera Austral because of all the construction. Everyone hates it. And it was a really long day for, for Rue. Um, so now I've got my confidence back and I think, no, I know I'm going to take the Carretera Austral all the way to the end, which is in a small town called O'Higgins. It'll probably take Rue and I a couple days to do it. It's six and a half hours, but with Rue, again, you know, her, her hours on the bike are limited. So then I would backtrack just north of a town called Cochrane to take a little known pass. It's called Paso Robales, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it's supposed to be absolutely stunning scenery. Hard packed roads from here on in, potholes, washboards, some loose gravel. I can handle that. It's just that deep gravel I can't. And when I went through all the video, none of it looked as bad as what it, what it was. I, I don't know. It's, it's like videos and photos never show you how steep a hill is or all that stuff. So we are here for a couple more days because the winds are crazy. Today is absolutely freezing out there. Uh, what else did I want to say? I've run into three or four different moto travelers here in town and we've been sharing lunches and stories and swapping ideas and it's just it's been nice to to have some people to chat with and yeah hopefully in two more days time we can get back on the road so if you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you later